All right, folks, welcome back to Dragon Works once again. Back on the 1969 Honda CT90, also known as the Trail 90. And in the last episode, which I guess was like part one of this one, I did some basic diagnostics. We did a compression test, and that came out good for a cold engine that's been sitting for 17 years. <laughs> Uh, we didn't have any spark yet. And, um, then, then I had to get with a customer and, you know, get permission to proceed, go into it a little bit deeper. And obviously he said, yeah, let's get this thing running. So, uh, then I had to try to get spark, which, you know, took a little bit, but I got that figured out. Uh, went ahead, got the carb kit for the car, got that cleaned up, got the carb kit in it. So let's see here. Let me show you what, what was going on with the spark and let's see if we can get this thing started for the first time in 17 years, shall we? Now the customer said years ago when he tried to get it started, you know, he didn't, he couldn't get any spark and then that's pretty much where he stopped. Oh, hold on. Let me turn off some of the lights. All right. That's a little better. I just want to show you, uh, he is correct. Keys on. And then, let's see if I can do this without shaking it too much. It's hard to do that, isn't it? As you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Let me get closer. I'm trying not to shake it. Really hard. There we go. As you can see, he's correct. No spark. Okay, lights back on. So sure enough, no spark with the key on. Um, and it doesn't surprise me if you look at some of this wiring we got. I mean, even coming out of the ignition switch here. So we're going to start right there. We'll check our power. Um, why I'm right here, I'll just clean these a little bit. Uh, I simply just take this out and I, and I clean this off with a little wire brush. And then in here, I got a little round file. And I just stick it in there and twist it a couple times. That's all you need. Go through all these. And uh, it looks the same in there as I showed you last time. Um, and then again, can't really see in there too well. But a lot of crusty wires uh, all over this bike. Um, so, yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Okay. We have some developments here. <laughs> so, my customer said that when he was trying to start it years ago. He thought he had power at the points, but then it wasn't doing anything. And at first, I did not have any. I just simply went around and wiggled here. Let me show you. I was seeing if my theory was right. I don't want to mess it up, but I just grabbed the battery and wiggled it because it's pressed in there with all them wires. And then I came back around. I turned on my key and I checked my power at the points and I got power. Okay. You probably got a reflection. Oops. Sorry. I think you might've saw it. Okay. 6.12. I was like, awesome, man. I got power at the points. I'm going to have spark. So then I go back around the other side, all excited and I get back. Sorry, the lights are on, but here, let me zoom in a little bit here, guys. Bear with me, I'm trying to video in, kick it. You can see, if I can hold it still enough, no spark. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Let me turn this light out again. All right, let me see how I'm going to do this without looking. I'm going to try my best. You guys watch that spark plug. Did you see it? Hold on. I'll keep doing it. Can you see the spark? What I'm doing is I came right here to the points and I'm just breaking the points with the screwdriver. Okay. And that's what causes the spark. <laughs> so, 
Hold on again. So, yeah, that, um, that well, it concludes my theory on all the dirty connections. So, I got to get in here, like I was telling you, definitely clean up some of that stuff. So, we got great contact because now we got power to the points. And when they open and close, it sparks. So, we just need to clean and reset all this stuff. And I believe we're going to have our spark just like it should. Now, I don't, I don't know if anybody's messed with any of this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the beginning and set static time this thing correctly. I think probably the points are either dirty or just not the gap isn't set right. They're not closing all the way, something like that. But instead of just trying to work out one thing, I usually just – here, let me back up. Sorry, guys. Got zoomed in there. Instead of just trying to fix one little solution here or one little problem, whatever you want to say, um, I'll just start over and reset all the timing and make sure it's 100%. And we get that carb kit in, get that carb on, this thing's going to run. All right, guys, I need to apologize. For some reason, probably didn't push start or something, but I didn't record this part. So just popped up a picture for you. I just basically cleaned the points, uh, reset the gap, reset all my timing and everything. And here we go. Okay, guys, after a good bit of work here of cleaning the points, setting the gap, and setting my timing. Try not to blur it. Oh, there you go. Hold on, let me zoom in a little better. It is trying to shake the camera. See it? <laughs> we have spark. Hard to do that without it shaking. <laughs> but you see it, you get the point. All right, now we got spark. Now we're on a roll. I got the carb kit and I'll get that thing installed. Get I got the carb cleaned up just waiting. I gotta put the parts in, get that in there. And then I believe we should be ready to fire this thing up for the first time in uh, I think, Almost 20 years. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, we got compression, we got spark, and hopefully now we got a fuel and air mixture. This will be the actual start. Uh, I have not tried it or anything. So this will be the actual start in almost 20 years. If it starts. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. It almost fired the first kick. Look at that. I don't have the throttle adjusted yet. I got to find out where that's at. for a second uh, since this carburetor has two it's got two fuel inlets we got to make sure okay so that's what happened there I just got it hooked up to the reserve one right now hope that's working getting the fuel in there oh yeah okay looks like it's getting fuel um, yeah, I'm going to try it without some choke here, guys. I think I might have flooded it already. I had it full choke. Let's go half choke and a little bit more throttle. Yeah, let's go without the choke for a second. Look at 
Ta-da! Man, that thing sounds good. Damn, that's almost a miracle. I wasn't too sure about this one. Um, as you saw when I first tried to start it, I probably didn't even have to put choke on. Um, I had full choke and I basically flooded it. You saw that. So yeah, I probably could have just kicked it. Okay, guys, let's try. Uh, so you saw the startup. Uh, I screwed it up. <laughs> I probably didn't even have to choke it. Who would have thought it, right? But uh, let's try start up again. No choke. Turn it on. It's still cold. I never got it warm or anything. But let's try this. See what it does. All right, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I messed up my own first start. I probably would have started on the first kick after all them years if I wouldn't have full choked the thing. But like I said, who would have thunk it, huh? <laughs> oh, let's do another. It's running great, man. Whoop. Look at that. Awesome. All right. That is too cool. There you have it. First start in over 17 years. I just love bringing these old bikes back to life. And now the real work begins, right? Because, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to do to it. I got to get, like I say, I still want to clean up all this wiring. We got a little... Glitching going on there with dirty connections. Get that done. Um, obviously service the motor. Got to do tires front and back and some brakes on it or what have you. I mean, the guy wants to get this thing done so he can actually ride it again. That's awesome. You know, this thing's been sitting all these years and now here it's going to get use again, once again. And that's what it's all about. You know, I live for this stuff. And it's going to be cool because when we get done, obviously, we're going to do a test ride video, reveal video. So you're going to want to check back in and see this thing done and see that first test ride. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching and following along. Peace out.